what I was thinking is really simple. We'll, we'll start shooting some poses here because the lighting is, you know, by tradition is kind of yeah. here the way to do it. Okay. Just to capture that uh, Gold's Gym um, feeling. So Stan, how do you feel for this first victory here, you know? Uh, Tell me how you feel. Yeah, it, you know, I, I guess it still hasn't hit me yet, man. Uh, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I look my best, especially in my pro debut. Uh, you know, I took several years off. But uh, I think what's hit me the most is I can't believe I actually qualified for the Olympia in my first shot. Uh, I was only intending on doing these uh, three shows at Jacksonville, in Tampa, and Europa. You know, I was really nervous about making my pro debut and making sure I look my best because I took a three-year layoff. Um, after turning pro in 06, um, you know, I, I just kind of lost the, the urge to get back on stage for a while. You know, uh, I really wanted to crack down on getting my biz business back up to par with my personal training. Uh, I started doing a lot of celebrity training and working with notable clients such as like Dr. Dre. So I ended up signing a, a year contract where we actually did some traveling. We traveled around the world, so I was his, his, his exclusive con uh, trainer. So basically, that took a lot of time out from um, training. So basically, I just worked on that. I worked on opening a new gym and uh, bought a new house. So a lot of a lot of projects, a lot of things came into play. So it wasn't until now where things are starting to settle down, where you know I can actually concentrate more on myself and, and bodybuilding. Uh, this is one of my rides right here. This is the uh, Chrysler 300C, the Hemi. Um, fixed it up with the Sony rims. Got some 22s. Did a lot of engine work on it. Got the uh, full exhaust system put in. Uh, you know, put a little bit of work. This is my work car. I like to drive this around daily. It's a big car. I like to ride a I ride a car with a lot of big space. I also got a Porsche 911. You you got to stand for three years. Stand. Just went in the gym and pilly around and played and had fun. Now he got busy. For instance, on, in, on incline dumbbells, Stan had never been past the hundreds. We was up to 140s. We were doing 140s for reps. Not just getting up for one rep, we were doing reps for 140 on that. On the hack squats, we were doing five plates on hacks and reverse hacks. Leg press was up to like 12 plates per side. Now, we're, we're, we're thinking about vitamin. We're doing repetition. Trust me, we're doing anywhere from 15 to 20 reps with 12 plates. And before that, it was never there. So anytime you start using heavy, heavy weight like that, you're going to put density to that muscle, and you're going to start to feel that leg out. And the repetition is going to give you the volume that you need to make sure that it stays nice and full. Understand, Stan has good symmetry. And all we had to do was try to fill those body parts out first. I think one of the key things is volume training. And what we did is we tried to go heavy to put that mass there from the heavy training, and it worked for us. Uh, just before I started my prep for the uh, Jacksonville Pro, uh, I had a bit of a lipoma. This is back in February. Um, I went and got it looked at, and it was suggested by the doctor that I have it taken out because it was getting pretty big. It grew to the size of a, a golf ball. So I went to a plastic surgeon. This was in, um, I think I believe it was May. The procedure was supposed to be pretty easy. They just cut you open, remove the fatty tissue. Uh, the problem is I had a pretty big chunk and it was pretty deep. Uh, when they removed it, they cauterized me, they closed me back up and they didn't stop all the bleeding. So when they closed it, I, I kept bleeding for another two weeks. I was in, having, having internal bleeding all the way down to my leg from my back. Couldn't figure out what it was, so I had to go back in. They had to open me back up and then close it up. So it was, it was a pain in the butt. Hi, I'm Michelle DeMaria, Stan's girlfriend, and um, I was extremely shocked at how well after you know the surgery and everything he, he accomplished, how he was very easy, you know, and easy to get along with. And I thought I was expecting, you know, the big mood swings, and we really didn't have much of that. I mean, he had his days ups and down, but otherwise he just kept looking forward and stayed positive. And I'm super proud of what he's accomplished and how far he's come and his big win, and hoping he'll keep it going and keep it strong and stay just as focused and just as happy. I think uh, get preparing for this Europa, um, I should be 100%. I wasn't even 100% to Jacksonville. I had the flu on uh, Thursday night and Friday. I didn't tell anybody about that. Um, but what difference is that, was that going to make? You know, I, just, I still got to enter the show. So mentally, I, I didn't feel like I was 100%. Um, flight messed me up a little bit. I didn't anticipate holding that much water when I got off the flight. So it'll be a shorter flight to Dallas from one. I get, I'm going to get there a day earlier and uh, my prep is going to be a little bit better. I'm going to make some changes to my diet 
Um, so I will probably be about two pounds heavier, won't be as flat, and um, I'll have a better presentation on stage so I get the, the uh, stage rust off. Are you going to sit the Olympia out this year or are you going to compete in the Olympia this year? No, I, I think it would be silly to sit it out. I'm, I'm going to keep going. You know, I've, all, I've only got maybe five months under my belt since I actually started getting back into bodybuilding. So the improvements that you and I have made in the last five months is pretty incredible. So you know, I, I still have another seven, eight weeks to, to put on a little more muscle. As soon as the Olympic, Olympia is over, I'm going to keep going, you know, and hopefully we can put on another 10 pounds. I mean, that's a good way of looking at it. I think you can do the very best. So hey, yeah. all the best, and we'll hit it again for sure. Yeah. I want to thank you, Charles. Thanks. Hey, it's my pleasure, I yeah, tell you. You're the man.